Do you have a plan for after your divorce? I'm Shanna Borman here with Straight Talk and Honest Advice about Family Law here in the Brazos Valley. Everybody always talks about things to do before you get divorced, but do you know what to do after your divorce is finished? Well, today let's talk about some things you need to do after your divorce is concluded. The first thing, obviously, is to adjust to your new income. You probably came from a household with two incomes, and now you're down to one. So while you may have done this during the divorce, be sure to create a budget now that addresses your new income and your new expense level. So what I mean by that specifically is reduce your expenses if you need to so that you can live within the income you create. The second thing you need to do, I think, is to change your name. Everybody always talks about changing your name at the Social Security Administration and the driver's license office. And to do that, obviously, you just take a certified copy of your divorce decree to those places and show it to them. But you also may need to change your name at credit bureaus. You may need to change your name with creditors. And so what I mean by that is specifically letting creditors know that your name is no longer Shanna X, but now it's Shanna Y. So they can keep track of you and where your bills need to go. Now, the next thing you need to do if you haven't done it already, and of course, I always tell my clients to do it before the divorce even starts, change all of your passwords. Every social media account, every account that you're awarded, everything online, you need to change your account passwords to something your spouse won't guess. Obviously, they know your information. They know your maiden name. They know your birthday. Don't select those things that are commonly used as passwords. The next thing you need to do is close joint accounts. So if you and your husband or you and your wife had a joint bank account, you'll need to close that account if you're awarded it. If you're not awarded it, hopefully the divorce decree said the other party was awarded it, but you need to go to the bank and say that your name should be removed from the account. My next recommendation is to make sure you finish all the paperwork now that transfers property to you in the divorce decree. So what I mean by that is make sure that the qualified domestic relations order that may award you a retirement account or an interest in a retirement account is signed by the judge now so that when you retire or your ex-spouse retires, you can get your share. Also make sure that deeds are signed now so that when in the future, when you wanna sell real property that may be awarded to you, you don't have to rely on a divorce decree in the divorce records of the court. Do things now for future needs because doing it now is much cheaper than trying to fix it later. The next tip I have is redoing your will. Now, a lot of people don't have a will to begin with, but if you do have a will and you did a will with your spouse while you were married, more likely than not, your property is awarded in your will to your spouse. Now, the law says in Texas that when you award property to your spouse in a will, but then you subsequently divorce that spouse, the award to the spouse goes away. So it's blue line. The court strikes it. But what you need to know is that sometimes when the divorce strikes it, you leave behind the award to your kids without leaving behind someone to manage that property until your kids are old enough to do it themselves. And so if you don't want your former spouse managing your estate for your children, you need to designate someone in your will. And so by that, I mean, redo your will. Along the lines of redoing your will, you'll want to redo your power of attorney for medical care or financial care. You need to decide who will make decisions for you if you can't make them for yourself. You need to list someone to do that because no longer will the law expect or assume that your spouse can do it for you. Select someone to manage your affairs so that your property can be managed in your best interest and not go to the state. Now, the last recommendation I have is that you need to make sure your health insurance is current and in effect. Many times spouses have health insurance through their former spouse's plan. And so once you're divorced, the former spouse has to give notice to their plan that you're no longer married because you no longer qualify for coverage under their family policy. So that means you're either left without coverage or you're going to have to COBRA. So you need to follow up 
and find coverage so that you have insurance because things happen and you need to protect yourself. These are just a few things that you'll need to take care of after your divorce. Other people may have other things, but if you need to know how to transition from your married life to your new single life, we can give you that information. We can guide you through that process. Do you need help? Give us a call today.